Celta and Valencia comes up. Celta Vigo, uh, minus 104. Valencia, plus 290. Celta Vigo, uh, 105 to score twice. Uh, Valencia... I'm not sure about them. The draws at plus 252. The way they've been playing, Celta Vigo deserve to be favourites. I'm going to go with them. I'm going to give them another chance, Klaus. No, they had a... And I'll make it quick because I know you you guys actually put some money on this one. I stayed away from it just because of the fact that, listen, Valencia pretty much, they have nothing to play for. And Celta de Vigo saved themselves, which we've been going over this for a couple of weeks now. That's their objective. They don't want to play European competition. They don't care. They're not going to do it anyway. And the only objective was to save themselves. Uh, and they have. And they're actually doing pretty good because they're 14. So they managed to get away from Las Palmas, Rayo, and Mallorca, which are the teams right below them. It's, it's one of those games where you just – I try to go for, for matches or I try to find my money where I know some things might happen for sure. Here, you don't know. Valencia might come on a good day. Celta de Vigo's already saved. I'm sure, you know, obviously ending the, the home – you know, ending the season with a home performance, you're going to want to do the best possible. But it's one of those where you just end 1-1 one, one, or even nil-nil. Both teams have nothing to play for. So if I had to go with something, I don't like the over one and a half. You look at the matches and Celta de Vigo, not really a, a, a team to score a lot of goals. Maybe three against Villarreal. That was that 3-2 was insane. But other than that, they really don't score more than two. So I don't know about that. That 105, negative 105 really doesn't convince me. And the money line will be the only way or route I will take on this one. Celta Vigo could have scored five after going 1-0 down against Atleti Club, but Atleti Club basically didn't play their players and then carried on their hangover and then you leave them alone and they come and win. Oak, Celta Vigo for me, I think they scored twice at minus 105, but I think if they score twice, they win this game. I think Valencia are just begging for the transfer window and a summer off. Yeah, listen, Valencia has definitely um, been on the downswing recently, um, dropping four of their last five, getting a draw, uh, taking red cards, getting their starting keeper suspended. Uh, Hugo Duro has definitely fallen off a little bit. Um, still 13 goals, though, on a team that, look, I, I didn't think that they were very good. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of problems with Valencia um, just because of their fans and, and some of the stuff that they've done to Madrid players while we're in their building. Um, but look, this team is just outside inside the top 10 um, that they, they can't really move up. They're not going to get European football. Um, Celta's kind of stuck where they are as well. Um, I was just talking to these guys before the show. I'm not sure how much more football Diego Aspas has left in his legs um, or how many years he's got left to play. So, you know, I could see a Diego Aspas goal or assist here. Um, but yeah, Celta Vigo is definitely the team in better form. Valencia sucks away from home. They concede a ton of goals away from home. So yeah, I like Celta here to kind of make a strong exit statement in front of their home fans in their building and get out here with three points. Yeah, home side, last game of the season. And Celta Vigo are one of them sides that obviously don't want to be trusting them too much uh, anywhere else in the season because otherwise, why didn't they do it? But it does look like that the end of the season is coming at the wrong time for them and they could be full of uh, beans come, uh, what's it going to be, like middle of August when we start again. Let's have a little look at the official pick because I'm on my own. I'm not even going to complicate it. I'm going minus 104, Celta Vigo to beat Valencia. Let's... 